Hey, what's the Shingibus and welcome back to my channel. And before we dive in, I want to give a special shout out to La French Crevette, also known as the French Stream. Based in France, they've got an awesome online shop and have been receiving fantastic feedback on the Calex Ball from their customers. If you are in France and looking for top-notch stream century products, definitely check them out. Alright, so let's get started into today's topic, soil compaction in aquarium using UGF or undergravel filter with active soil. If you are a stream keeper, you know we use active soils in our tank, which breaks down over time. But here's the kicker. When you pair active soil with UGF, you are actually setting yourself up for disaster. Why? Because UGF are designed for gravel, which doesn't break down. Active soil on the other hand is fragile and the constant water flow through the substrate causes it to compact, clog and eventually fail. Let me paint you a picture. You have spent months setting up your dream stream tank. You have chosen the perfect active soil, meticulously planted your plants and introduced a thriving colony of Caridina stream. Everything looks perfect until one day you notice something's off. Your plants are struggling, your stream seems stressed and the water flow from your UGF has slowed to a trickle. What went wrong? The answer lies beneath the surface in a problem few aquarists talk about, soil compaction. Soil compaction is a silent killer. It's a process where soil particles are pressed together, reducing the space between them. In nature, this happens due to heavy rainfall, foot traffic or machineries. In your aquarium, it's caused by the constant downwards pool of water through the substrate, especially in systems like UGF. At first, compaction might seem harmless. You might think, oh, the soil is just settling. But here's the truth. Compacted soil is a ticking time bomb. Over time, it becomes dense and impenetrable, creating a host of problems. For example, number one, suffocation. Compacted soil restricts airflow. Number two, nutrients lockout. Compacted soil prevents the even distribution of nutrients, leading to pH imbalances. Number three, water flow block blockage. A soil, you know, as soil particles are forced together, fine dust and debris clog filter tubes, reducing efficiency and eventually causing complete failure. And number four, which is also very, very important, is the anaerobic pockets. This compacted soil creates dead zones where harmful bacteria thrive, releasing toxic gases like hydrogen sulfide. These issues don't happen overnight. Like a silent assassin, soil compaction works slowly, undermining your tank's health until it's too late. Undergravel filters are a popular choice for many aquarists. They are affordable, easy to install, and provide excellent biological filtration. But here's the catch. They are a major contributor to soil compaction, especially when used with active soil. And here's how it happens. As water is drawn through the substrate, it pulls soil particles downwards. Fine dust and debris are sucked into the filter tubes, clogging them over time. The constant downwards pressure forces the substrate to compact, creating a dense, impenetrable layer. I learned this the hard way through a friend's experience. His tanks was thriving for months, but suddenly the UGF stopped working. Upon inspection, we discovered the filter tubes were clogged with fine soil particles. The substrate had become so compacted that the water could no longer flow through it. His streams were stressed. The tank was on the brink of collapse. This isn't an isolated incident. Many aquarists face similar issues but don't realize the root cause. The truth is, UGF are fundamentally flawed when it comes to long-term soil health in stream tanks. To understand why soil compaction is so harmful, we can look to nature, specifically to farming. Farmers know that healthy soil is the foundation of a successful harvest. Before every planting season, they plow, aerate and prepare the soil to ensure it's loose and nutrient rich. Why? Because compacted soil is a death sentence for crops. It restricts root growth, limits water absorption and prevents nutrients from reaching plants. Sound familiar? The same principles apply to aquariums. 
In nature, topsoil is constantly aerated by worms, insects, and microorganisms. In an aquarium, we don't have that luxury. Without intervention, the substrate becomes compacted in the UGF, leading to the same issues farmers work so hard to avoid. This is where the reset basket comes in. Unlike UGF, reset baskets don't rely on pulling water through the substrate. Instead, they create a stable, low-pressure environment that minimizes compaction. Here's why the reset basket is a game changer. Number one, there's no downwards pressure because reset basket rely on gravity alone, preventing the soil from being forced together. Improving water flow, which is number two, without the fine particles clogging the system, water flows freely, maintaining optimum filtration by sponge filter or hang on board. Number three, long-term stability. Reset basket prevents the formation of anaerobic pockets, ensuring a safer environment for your streams. So my friend's experience with the reset basket was nothing short of transformative. After switching from an UGF, he noticed an immediate improvement. The soil remained loose and aerated, his plants flourished, and the filter system worked flawlessly. Most importantly, his streams were help healthier and happier than ever. This is also true with another hobbies in Poland. If you are a stream keeper, this story is a wake-up call. Soil compaction is a silent killer and undergravel filter, while effective in the short term, are a ticking bomb for your tank. The good news is you don't have to wait for disasters to strike. By switching to reset basket, you can prevent compaction, protect your stream, and ensure your tank thrives for years to come. But don't just take my word for it, try it for yourself. Monitor your substrate, observe your stream, and pay attention to your filter's performance. The difference will speak it for itself. Soil compaction might be invisible, but its effects are undeniable. If you are using an undergravel filter, now is the time to act. Switch to the reset basket and give your tank the gift of healthy aerated soil. Your plants, fish, and streams will thank you. Remember, a thriving aquarium isn't just about what you see on the surface, it's about what lies beneath. Don't let soil compaction be the silent killer of your tank. Take control, make the switch, and watch your aquarium flourish like never before. Soil compaction is a problem that affects aquarists and farmers alike. It's a reminder that even the smallest details like the substrate in your tank can have a profound impact on the health of your ecosystem. By learning from nature and embracing innovative solutions like Reset Basket, we can create aquariums that are not only beautiful but also sustainable. So the next time you admire your tank, take a moment to think about what's happening below the surface. Is your soil healthy? Are your plants thriving? Is your streams healthy? If not, it might be time to make a change. After all, a thriving aquarium starts with the foundation, and that foundation is your soil. Don't let soil compaction ruin your hard work. Switch to Reset Basket today and give your tank the care it deserves. Your aquatic friends will thank you. <laughs> and your aquarium will become the vibrant, thriving ecosystem you have always dreamed of. If you like this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, peace out.